ladies and gentlemen welcome to the weekly review it's been a while but i didn't have much content to share in the last two weeks one of them i was even here so uh now we're back and it's new season it's um, a lot of exciting stuff to go through uh, hopefully you managed to get your first week uh, which is tyrannical now we're going to get a fortified week and uh the affixes for that by the way are going to be fortified entangling bolstering now bolstering you're only going to get if you are running 10 or higher keys. Uh, so you can get away a second week in a row by just running eight. I actually have a video on my main channel talking about what kind of key levels you should be running. Eights are totally fine if you can, of course, time them. Uh, if not, you can go lower, you can check that video out. Uh, but, you know, you probably are not going to, there's no point to push that early in the season, so you might not even have to deal with the bolstering. Make sure to pick whatever talent you have uh, in your class to get re rid of the roots of the entangling because that helps a lot, whatever that talent is. And of course, the trash is going to be a little bit harder, but this week the bosses are going to be easier. So it's not a bad week uh, at all unless you decide to go into the high uh, plus 10 keys. Um, so having said that, you're also going to get your second boolean this week, which means you can buy something. I have a video talking about the best trinkets for healers. You can check that one as well. And there's also a guide that just came out on Wowhead with uh, each class and their best buys for the bullions. Of course, don't go by the list. Look at your specific class. Look at your specific character. See what items you're missing and then decide what to buy because sometimes your best item might not be the best buy because you might have like a bigger upgrade uh, on, on other places. Uh, so keep, keeping that in mind, um, I guess you can also craft items, etc. Um, I'm gonna open the vaults now. I did manage to run a few keys on my Shaman and my Monk. The Shaman actually run quite a few keys because uh, I wanted to run both S Restoration and Enhancement Shaman and have score in every single dungeon. Uh, it helps in the sense that uh, people can see that I have IO for both and it makes the invites a little bit easier. Of course, it's not the end of the world if uh, your IO is not that high. People are just starting up, but uh, I decided to make it easier on my Shaman for the future weeks. Since this is what I'm going to be maining uh, this season, regardless of the spec that I'm going to be playing. And uh, for the first week, I'm going to open as Resto because, uh, just because, uh, there might be some um, scenarios where I go Enhancement. Uh, but that's yet to be determined. So let's see if I can save a Boolean. Uh, and buy something else by, let's say, getting an Omnius, uh, Omnius Essence. Alright, first vote, first disappointment. We have a Hero Staff, we don't care about that because we have a Hero Irido Staff already. Uh, that's a Waste, uh, which it's Crit Haste, not the best stats. And we have Shoulders, um, I think I have Shoulders, they're not Hero level, but they are whatever they are. Um, Alright, let's start from here. Mythic level Shoulders. Indestructible Haze Versatility. So that's one option. Uh, this is a staff that... Uh, yeah, it's mythic level, but I don't care about it. And then we have a Headpiece. This one has Leech. It's Crit Mastery. Probably doesn't matter because I don't think... Like the Headpiece is something that you uh, convert with the Catalyst anyway. But the Leech is actually really good. And between that and the Shoulders, I think that's an easy pick. Because I do have some kind of Shoulders. They're probably not even Hero level. But I don't have any Helms. So this is going to be the best upgrade for me. I still need one tier piece from somewhere. Because you should have two Catalyst Charges this week. If you manage to get Heroic Razaget Kill. Uh, or 2k I rating. Which should be relatively easy to do this week. Uh, if you played last week. Then you can get your uh, Draconic Mastery. Whatever. Awakened Mark of Mastery. Which is another set piece. So I need one more. In order to get a full 4 piece tier set bonus. Um, so I'm going to pick up the helm and hopefully uh, I get a piece from somewhere which is not going to be a helm. Actually, I'm going to wait because if I get a helm tier piece, then I can probably pick up the shoulders uh, to get a four piece. Yeah, so I, I'll have to leave the vault as is uh, for right now because uh, we're going to do raids tomorrow. And let's say I get a head piece, then yeah, uh, that's going to be a waste taking this one. Although this one has a leech. We, we should know that this one has a leech, so it's uh, it's pretty, pretty good. All right, so not the most disappointing vault ever, but it could have been better. Uh, I did manage to play all of my oaths last week, although I did only one key on most of them. 
Uh, as I mentioned, I did play the um, Mist River Monk a lot. I think I have 8 keys on it. And then I did play the Paladin as well, but I maybe have only 4 keys. And uh, obviously I didn't heal on that character. So uh, let's start with the Pali. I'm gonna open all the votes, so uh, feel free to stay till the end of the video if you want to see the bad luck that's uh, going to come my way. Uh, the Pali maybe did a plus 6 and a bunch of lower keys, so uh, I should have two slots in the vote nevertheless. I don't think I rated on any of my other characters apart from the Shaman, so um, that's that. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, I'm actually maining the Shaman, so I don't care about the other ones too much at this point, because in just a couple weeks time, you can get 4 piece tier set bonus right off the bat. Uh, so it's going to make it much more easier there. Of course, you have the items to Catalyst. Um, I'm going to open as Retribution. I'm mainly going to be playing Red and Prot this season, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I could probably heal some keys, so I need all the gear on all the tunes. Uh, we get a legs, which are hero level 3, and this is uh, chest, which is hero level 4 out of 6. Um, I think I have legs already. They're champion level, but they're upgrade, so uh, this is basically the best option that I have. Uh, of course, this will have to be Catalyst, but it is hero track, so uh, potentially that's a good waste of a charge in the Catalyst once I obtain it, so I'm not gonna equip it right now unfortunately, but hopefully I get uh, some bonuses soon uh, that I can work with. My priest, which uh, I'm gonna experiment a little bit with the priest, uh, I played as disc, but uh, holy is actually looking good this season, so I'll probably run some keys as holy potentially, we'll see that how that goes. Uh, I'm enjoying this because it's pretty chill to play, like there's not that many buttons to press, uh, that's why I like the spec. Uh, but we'll see how much I manage to gear the priest because we also have the pandemonium coming up, I'm gonna play that, so maybe I will not be able to keep up with all my ults uh, this season. Alright, so let's open here, uh, should be pretty big disappointment because it's only one piece. And it is the Emerald Coach Whistle. Alright, uh, this one was... Uh, okay, so this one was basically you get... Uh, you mark an ally in your dungeon and you get a chance to get some mastery. Not the best trinket, but obviously it's gonna be upgrade from my uh, 463 pips that I've been running with uh, for the whole season. So uh, I guess it's time to say goodbye to pips. This one is going to be much better. All right, let's put it right here. It's going to be three item levels upgrade overall. That speaks volumes. Uh, I also need a weak core for this one because uh, if you forget to press it in the beginning of the dungeon, obviously you're not getting the procs and yeah, it's, it's bad. Uh, I used to play with this in the beginning of uh, whatever season that was active. Um, all right, I'll start, start backwards here um, with my Druid Evoker and then uh, the monk which has three vault slots available but uh, i was saying i played with this trinket and yeah you need a weak card to remind you to press um, and mark somebody in your group otherwise you're not getting the bonus uh, which could be quite annoying uh, all right the druid also did one key pretty sure maybe it was a five maybe it was a six i'm not sure uh, but it should be hero level track, uh, it doesn't really matter, as basically everything from 0 to 6 gives you hero level. We get some shoulders, which is fine, we'll have to catalyze this, of course, but um, that's gonna be a while until we manage to get 4 piece. So uh, I'll take this and save it somewhere for like a bad day, when uh, I can actually use it. Alright, next one more disappointment on the evoker and i'm hoping that i can at least get something good on my monk like uh, i from six characters and how many vault slots is that total um six on the shaman three on the monk two on the paladin is 11 and four more characters so from 15 vault slots i should get at least one good piece of tier come on something good for the monk because uh, the Evoker, yeah, the Evoker is a nightmare to heal in Pugs, by the way. I think I tried to heal a few keys, not entirely because of me, but they didn't go well. And um, I ended up playing Augmentation for one of them. 
I want to learn Devastation as well. I'm going to open this augmentation just because I don't really care. Uh, let's see what the disappointment is here. A Helm, same deal as with the Druid. I'll save this somewhere in my bags and one day I can use it. But right now, yeah, I actually get a piece of wood in my dungeon and it's also something that I can't use because I don't have a main hand. Um, so yeah, pretty big disappointments. All right, all the money are on this bet. We need to get something good on the monk boys. Otherwise, it's going to be full disappointment. I couldn't even pick the item on my shaman, you know. So, yeah. All right. Three vaults. Two of them are plus eights, which is going to be mythic level uh, piece of gear. And then one of them is heroic. I think uh, it was like a five or a six. I don't remember. But there were no, not all eights uh, on the monk. Uh, but I'll even take like on the heroic slot. I'll even take some some tier there. All right, let's make sure we're in the correct loot spec, Mist River, because we could have specced something to help somebody. Probably not that early in the season, but whatever. And the winner is nobody. All right, so we have a wrist. Um, we could probably craft something in our wrist. Haste mastery. Uh, we have this versatility mastery ring, which is also not ideal for healing. And, oh no, <laughs> it happened, boys. It happened. We got the tier piece, uh, which is the Lex. <sighs> it has avoidance, though. Uh, it has avoidance. Why does it have different stats? Hold on a second. Oh, because I'm not, I, I don't have tier piece equipped on my, on my legs. This is the piece that you actually don't equip. Oh my god, this is so bad. Versatility mastery. Yeah, it's not ideal. It has avoidance, though. If it didn't have avoidance, I would probably pick one of the others, and I, I, I wouldn't care. Because uh, the others are mythic track. So it's basically between these, which actually don't have good stats either. They have haste. That's not bad. Haste mastery. We would like to see haste versus or haste crit. But that's uh, a bit too much to ask for. So it's high verse. I mean, I can use these in M+. Mastery is kind of useless. Gives a little bit of healing, but the avoidance is huge too. Oh, boys. All right. Full disappointment. Full disappointment. I really hope you have better luck in your votes. I'm gonna pick these, I guess. Because it's gonna get me four pieces uh, sooner rather than later. And we're gonna craft something for bracers. I don't like this ring anyway. Yep. All right. That's going to be it, boys. Good luck with your fortified keys. Uh, check my main channel for some uh, interesting content that's coming up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Now get out of here.